Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to another episode of a Hannibal reaction to Sword Live. I'm Animus Man. Hello. So, okay, Hannibal. Last song, what happened? We got the reveal that Will is actually playing Hannibal, most likely. Freddy Lounce is alive. He went and talked to not Harry, Mason, and it seems like he was gonna go and like just like confront him and kill him, which is what Hannibal Lecter would have wanted. Like later on, I was thinking about like why would he like orchestrate all of this? Why would he? Why would it make uh, Margot go and have a kid? Why would and and try and be like yeah, you should totally kill your brother? Why would he want his brother to go and do that to Margot? And the answer is because he wanted to fuck with Will. <laughs> That's a really roundabout way of doing it, you know? He just wanted Will to go and just, like, justifiably, kind of, just go and kill this dude. Alright, anyway, uh, he did that, but Will appears to be very sane, and he's actually like, okay, I have this master plan, we're gonna fucking, we're gonna fucking nail this shit. So, we'll see in which, in what direction this goes, uh, I mean, we do know how it ends kind of ends because of the scene at the beginning of the season and we're getting closer and closer to that scene so yeah this is episode 12 and it's the second to last episode next one is the finale uh so yeah i believe we should just go mo move forward we should go watch it and see what's happening uh and yeah this is the part where i plug in the patreon so yeah check out the patreon link in the description below you can watch up to two episode early access which means that you're gonna already watch the finale and the first e episode of season three. Hell yeah, that's a lot of content. Actually, it's not that much, but it's something. Uh, yeah, full long reactions. All right, Hannibal, season two, episode 12. Let's go. <laughs> a little bit too much. Are you gonna kick him to the pigs now? You know what, that would be the ideal ending. Let's see where this goes. We have another season, so it's not gonna come to a conclusion here, but... Well, they could, like, catch him at the dirt face of about him, like, escaping or some shit, like... All sorts of things. Many of the show ended right here. Credits roll. What game of chicken are you and the sperm donor playing, Dr. Lecter? It's complicated. Mm, yeah, that's bad. That's a bad. That's all I've got now. That's exactly what he wanted. He won. He always wins. He's given me nothing, Jack. Nothing actionable. He has confessed to nothing. He's acknowledged only vagaries. I need more than vagaries. You have killed someone, Will. Who was trying to kill me. I don't know if I can prove that. You mutilated the body. You did do that, okay. Hannibal's trying to manipulate me into murdering one of his patients. Mason Verger. But I can manipulate Hannibal into killing him instead. <laughs> What's Verger done? Yeah, tell him about all the fucked up shit. Then it's more or less justifiable. I'm talking about putting a man's life in danger. You know, sometimes, Jack, a good plan is less about finding the best alternative than it is about finding one that works. Don't let empathy confuse what you want with what Lecter wants. I told you, Jack, I'm a good fisherman. You have to use the right bait. When Hannibal tries to kill Mason Verger, I'll arrest him, and you'll have two witnesses. You might have three. I like this scene, because now we know exactly what wavelength they are. Oh, it's the, it's her, the psychiatrist lady. They want to run away. This was made 100% complete sense. Because now I suspect them, so let's try and find her. You tell me you were hard to find. That was the idea. <laughs> you were Dr. Lecter's psychiatrist. He wasn't yours. I told myself that. <laughs> How? What do you do? Exactly. Did your patient die? I killed him. Yep. Same thing that's doing to Will. What Hannibal does is not coercion. It is 
is persuasion. It is well thinking, well, maybe I shouldn't let Mason die. Has he ever tried to persuade you to kill anyone? Because by Will trying to allow Hannibal for him to kill Mason, he is indirectly killing Mason, so. So someone you love and you'll think that it's the only choice you have. I see. Hannibal can get lost in self-congratulation. Whimsy. That will be how he will get gone. Okay. Thank you. I like that now that the veil is off, we're just asking people that know and they're like, oh yeah, he's totally a killer. You're fostering codependency. A little bit. Isn't that what you did to Abigail? Got her to take a life so she'd owe you hers? Mm-hmm. The ultimate abusive relationship. You don't want me to have anything in my life. But you. That's not you. Mm-hmm. I only want what's best for you. According to you. You're just a light. That's what he wants to hear. You're as alone as I am. And we're both alone without each other. Mr. Graham doesn't know himself as well as Hannibal does. Will has more reasons to see Hannibal caught than any of us. If you think you're about to catch Hannibal, that's because he wants you to think that. It's because you haven't seen the episode, Les. Don't fool yourself into thinking he's not in control of what's happening. I like that. Just essentially telling you, all right, you think Will's got the plan. Wait until you see Hannibal's plan. What are we cooking? Lack of trust in other people increases your need for religion. If you can't rely on others, you rely on God. Rely on God. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, motherfucker. I don't know who's pursuing whom any more than these fish do. Whomever is pursuing whom in this very moment, I intend to eat them. <laughs> Both of those people know that that's not a joke. Here's the fuckboy himself. You motherfucker are really good at art. Oh! They just, they just straight out got a bunch of thugs. He's gonna take out like all of them. Do y'all bring guns? Okay, they taste them. Cool. You shouldn't have done that. Yeah, he really shouldn't have. Oh. Well, he's gonna get away. Is Will gonna save him? Maybe shy. We're starting with the toast, so we need to encourage them. He's not in the mood. His friend just died. We're gonna cut your throat. <coughs> we can give Mateo's family Dr. Oni's uh, cojones for comfort. Why? You are an odd psychiatrist. That is an understatement. Why will? The plot demands that it's you. He's free. Yeah, but now Hannibal's gonna get the other two. That's Carlo. Yep. Half of Carlo. What about Mason, though? That's a tear. It's a Mason tear, isn't it? He gets special treatment. Oh, there we go. Of course, he's gonna die laughing. Can Will save him in time? Probably not. I'm assuming not. I love the soundtrack for this. It sounds really crazy and frantic. You love it. Sure, boss. <laughs> Did he kill him in Wilson's house? Did you call Jack and tell him about everything that happened? Don't you fucking tell me the dogs are dead? No, the dogs are eating, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, is he feeding himself to the dogs? Yeah, he... I saw... Yeah, his face is fucked up. What are you feeding my dogs? Himself. Can you not see his face? 
He was looking at you. Just me. <laughs> 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 Walk away, call Jack. Well, Hannah was behind you, isn't it? Yep. My god. What the fuck do you give him? Good question. I'm hungry. Well. Ah! Good idea! <laughs> good thinking. <laughs> How badly are his pain receptors shot? Like, I'm full of myself. If verb, he is full of himself. <laughs> wow. He's still laughing. Oh, that's great. This is a great scene. Is your patient, doctor? You do what you think is best for him. You kill him. You kill him. You kill him. You kill him. All right. Easy. GG. Like Still alive? I would like to ask you just a few questions about what happened to you. Took a tumble in the pig pen. Broke my neck. Embarrassing, really. He was so high, he doesn't remember what the fuck happened. Have you ever seen or met another patient of Dr. Lecter's man called Will Graham? Can't say that I've had the pleasure. Fuck. How can he memory wipe like so specifically? This is greatly from Dr. Lecter's therapy. I will always be grateful for how he's helped me. You had like one session. He doesn't even memory wipe, he injects the specific memories into someone. I call bullshit on that by the way. That is just like like the thing about like a like a murder mystery or like a whatever, like a detective whatever. Is that you have to like sell me on something that makes sense. That does not make sense. The fact that like he so accurately can just insert thoughts into someone else's head through drugs that make no sense. What Margo wants is to take care of you, Mason. Dear. Just as you took care of me. I do love this, by the way. Achilles lamenting the death of Patroclus. Gay. Died from there wearing his armor. He did. I played Hades. You're going to get caught. You should give him what he wants. Give him the Chesapeake River. Go and kill Jack? Allow him closure. I suppose I owe him the truth. All right, so here we learn that a will is the one that essentially tells Hannibal to go and kill Jack. Here's the thing. Everyone here is playing 5D chess with each other, with like multiple dimensions and timelines. That's what they're playing. I'm thinking, okay, Will is like, well, maybe you shouldn't go and kill Jack then. And Hannibal's like, okay, then maybe I will. But what is, what do they both of them actually want to do though? <laughs> like, Will, clearly doesn't want Hannibal to go and kill Jack. So I'm assuming that Will is like, okay, maybe go and kill Jack. And then he's going to go and be like, yo, Jack, get ready. I sent Hannibal after you. Okay, so that's the thing. Is that Hannibal is not going to attack Jack willingly. He's going to taunt Jack. So then Jack goes after him, which is what happened at the beginning. But if Will is the one saying that, he, I'm assuming he's willing to help Jack. And he's already telling Jack, okay, you'll be ready. There's going to be an encounter happening. But the thing is that Hannibal wouldn't do it in a manner that it's like, you know, just like a simple, you catch me, okay, uh, bring like, I don't know, 20 people to come and kill me. And then Hannibal like loses instantly because, you know, he's fighting FBI men. FBI men has the resources of the FBI, man. So, um, what Hannibal would do is that he would like, I don't know, he would like kidnap his wife and he would be like, all right. Here's like a finger. Uh, if you want to see your wife again, come see me 1v1 Falco only or whatever. Like whatever the fuck he does he's like he has to have some kind of safe guard so he doesn't instantly lose to the FBI. So he has to do something like that. Um, but also this makes you think that Will is willing to help Jack 
Or maybe something bad happens to Will, and then Jack is the one that is like, fuck you, I'm gonna get you, right? But yeah, that, that makes you think that that's, that that's Will's plan. But Hannibal being like, you know what, maybe I should reveal myself to Jack Crawford. That might be just Hannibal willingly playing into Will's hands, because Hannibal has another plan on top of Will's plan that would be like, oh, it's gonna be like, oh my god, he, he thought about that shit. Because, again, we, we saw this character, I completely forgot what her name was, I'm sorry. The blonde psychiatrist, uh, she came back, awesome, but she came back and she's like, don't ever think that you are playing Hannibal, Hannibal is the one that's always in control, okay? And she also said, Hannibal's gonna go after the person you love the most, and that's how it's gonna, like, make you actually be like, alright, go and kill someone now. You know, because Hannibal always wants you to go and kill someone. So, the way he does it is by, like, by actually taking the m your most treasure thing and then making you, like, be like, all right, now what will you do? And it's like, well, your only option is to go and kill it in order to save that or whatever, you know? So, there we go. Um, Mason got fucked up. I mean, here's the thing about Mason getting fucked up. He deserved it. So, I don't... It was kind of fucked up, though, and I love that, actually. Um, But, okay, I got fucking bullshit on this, by the way. The idea that Hannibal is able to, like, m essentially mind control people to, like, a perfect amount. It's like, it's like forced suggestion, you know? He's doing motherfucking magic on this fool. So he's like, you didn't see me. I am a good psychiatrist. You never saw Will Graham. You fell into your pen. Pigs ate your face. Your sister saved you. <laughs> yeah, that happened. Like, the only way that could be is if, if the drugs he gave him were essentially drugs that whatever you tell him, he will believe that that's what happened. But I don't even know if that's how memories work. Like... I suppose memories are just belief. Are they visual too? I mean, not visual, but like a mental image. I suppose you can imagine the mental image. I suppose that's what it is. I suppose you could suggest someone. So he is essentially using force suggest. Except it's like drug suggest. Because there, it makes like no fu But even then... Okay, I'm bringing this shit back, and this is what I'm thinking about. Fucking... Miriam? How did it make Miriam believe that it was actually fucking Chilton, the one that said that shit? Because it wasn't him. And how did it make Miriam forget that it was Hannibal's voice and convince Hannibal that it was Chilton's voice? Like, we can... We can I, listen. If you're typing in the comments, it's like, it's drugs. I know it's drugs. I just don't know if that is realistic. <laughs> it could be realistic, you know, just the idea of, but like, you have to like implant such a specific memories. I suppose it's less memories than just thoughts. But when it's something as like, I don't think you can say like, you will remember. Chilton's voice telling you this scene. I don't remember you can do that. Like, I don't think you can do that. Because, like, I don't think she ever met Chilton. Did Miriam met Chilton at any point? So, like, how would she be able to imagine Chilton's voice before she knew who the fuck he was? Maybe she knew who he was. But even, like, maybe Hannibal fed her, like, a recording and was like, you will imagine that the person who said those things was this voice. But even then, like, if Chilton said those words and he had them in a recording and then he fed that to Miriam while in a suggestive state, I would believe that. But Chilton never probably said those words. And I don't think Hannibal has deep faking technologies yet because I don't think that technology even exists yet. We're very close. It's scary. But I... Call bullshit on that one. And the same applies to this one. Because he essentially did the same thing with Mason. It's like, alright, we have 
very clear alive witnesses. They serve as anti-witnesses because they essentially tell you, no, Hannibal is a totally good guy. What are you saying? He would never do such a thing. He's actually such a great psychiatrist. Like, I'm very thankful towards him. Like, bro, it's like almost annoying. <laughs> almost. I mean, what happened to Mason is fantastic, though, because Margot is like, all right, now you get what's coming to you, you fucking piece of shit. Because this is like the perfect outcome, isn't it? As long as there is like a male, like an alive male heir, the company will go to that person. Mason has lost control of his entire body and also doesn't have a face anymore. So he's as close to a vegetal as he can be, but he's alive. So now Margot is like, all right, I get, I, I, I'm assuming she probably gets full control of everything because she's like Mason's personal, like, right hand woman. But she's also like, I'm going to make your life hell more than it already is. You fucking piece of shit. Because now Mason can do nothing about nothing. Even he's like, like, he's like. Carlo or whatever, like his his boys, they're dead too. So, sure. Now it's just Margot being like, all right, now I get to do whatever the fuck I want with you, which is perfect ending, Re perfect resolution. For a second, I thought that maybe she made Mason lie to Jack Crawford, but it that makes no sense. The story of the Vergers could be, just be done now. Like, this episode could be the last time we see them. That was, like, a perfect resolution to their conflict. So, now we could just be done with them, and now we're just gonna deal with Hannibal and see the finale and see what's up. So, um, by the way, Hannibal's a really good artist. He's a really good artist. In terms of drawing, he's, a, he's very good at drawing. So, the fact that he decides to just fuck around and find out <laughs> instead of just drawing... You know, that's something. It, you know, like, why is Hannibal so good at, like, everything? Like, that's the thing. He also knows Italian, apparently. He knows Italian so well that he's able to identify what region of Italy someone is just by hearing them, like, a little bit. It's like, oh, you're from Sardinia, where the main antagonist from Jojo Part 5, Golden Wind, comes from. Sorry. There was the scene of Will and Jack Crawford talking about this whole situation, which I appreciated. Because up until this point, I'm just like, okay, how how much are they interacting with each other? How much is how planned is this? And the answer is, it's pretty much what I said it was. I think like last episode when I was discussing this, I was like, okay, Will probably called Jack and was like, okay, I I had to kill this dude in self defense, but hear me out. I'm gonna do like I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do a pro gamer move, okay? So I'm just gonna go and try to pretend. That I, I feel really good about killing him. So Hannibal would be like, oh, you see the world like me. Like I fell to his influence, but I'm just gonna be playing it up. However, I'm gonna have to like chop this body. So just just hear me out. Just deal with me on this one, okay? So yeah, that's that's essentially what happened. And then they had to fake Freddie Lance's death. The fact that you didn't see her die, it's like, okay, good. And it's the burned body, so it's like, okay, good. Um yeah, Jack is in on it, everyone is in on it, except for Hannibal. But Hannibal is smart enough to realize that this is a possibility. Maybe he already even is, conf like, he's sure that this is a thing. Um, but yeah, um, I appreciate that. Very gay scenes with uh, Will and Hannibal. The fact that Hannibal could have died this episode, like, right away, but Will saved them. Let's talk about that. It's the idea that, like... It's the idea that, like... Will... is like, oh, I want this bitch to die so bad. I want him to get it. I wanted to get him so bad. But then, it's the idea of, like... Like, Hannibal wants you to go and, and kill. And Will is like, yeah, I'm gonna kill him. But then it's like, no, Will. Like, listen. Hannibal wins by you letting him kill or be killed like if someone dies he wins that's the idea because because okay so will essentially says i'm going to use mason berger as a as bait so we can get hannibal which backfired and well it's like well whatever like it doesn't really matter what happens to him i'm gonna stop it anyway 
But Hannibal, like, putting a man's life in danger is already, like, indirectly, inadvertently doing what Hannibal wants. Because either way, Mason, like, dies. He didn't die, but he might as well be dead. Uh, like, either way, Mason, like, dies, which means that Will is indirectly killing him. So Hannibal wins anyway. Like, it's the, it's the idea of suggestion of, like, you think that you're playing him, but in doing so, he's already playing you. That's the idea. So that's why when it's like, okay, kill Hannibal, he's like, I'm not going to kill Hannibal. Because also this way, we're not going to like catch him. And that's the thing is that we need to like catch him because by catching him, we can pinpoint all the crimes on him and we can get closer to that. And also because this, is this it? Is this the reason? Because it's the right thing to do. Or was Will just protecting himself? Like, why did he rescue Hannibal? Okay, so we have a couple options. One, Will was protecting himself because he knew Mason was going to dispose of him after he disposed of Hannibal. Two, because he wants to catch Hannibal, because that's the right thing to do. So it's like, it's like lawful. It's like, okay, Hannibal's the Chesapeake Ricker and he's going to pay for his crimes. You know, we could just kill him, but that's not it. We got to get him in jail forever. Three... He, he can't get enough of that dick, though. Sorry, that was that was a little bit too much. But yeah, maybe three. He just doesn't want Hannibal to die. We can just say that one. We can just say that one. It could be either of those three, honestly. Or it could be another reason that I'm just not thinking about. Uh, oh yeah, Wills' dog just ate human flesh. So let's hope that that doesn't become a recurring thing. They could be building... They could be already setting up, like... Like, the ending of the show, right now. The fact that uh, he fed Mason uh, to the dogs. I can see, like, a future where the show ends when Will becomes Hannibal 2.0. Like, Hannibal, like, is caught or he dies, and Will becomes Hannibal 2. And then he disposes of the bodies by making the dogs eat it. Like, like the dogs will eat everything down to the bones. And, you know, Will shares his food with the dogs, essentially. That could be a foreshadowing of where this could go. But I don't necessarily know that's where it's going to go. It's Okay, so the idea that, like, they're setting up the, the, the final episode here, where Will essentially is telling Hannibal, okay, go get Jack. Which, so if Hannibal goes and gets Jack, or just straight up Jack's his wife... Like, cancer-ridden Jax's wife. I forgot her name, sorry. Bella. There we go. Bella, Bella. If he goes and get her, he's gonna be pissed at Will. I mean, Hannibal, but also Will, because Will is the one that told uh, Hannibal, you know, you should, you should go get Jack. And it's like, what do you think was gonna happen? It's the idea that Will might be, like, losing himself in, like, the idea of, like, I want to catch this fucker. You know, it's just like he's too he's too lost in the sauce, you know? Like he wants to catch him so bad that he's just he's just starting to make like awful decisions. So maybe. Maybe. I think that's it. God, this is this is a super short review. I'm sorry about that. Like it sound it feels like I didn't talk about too much, but there's like not a lot to talk about, is there? I just I just like having this psychiatrist lady back and finally like telling everyone like what's happening what she thinks about Hannibal and what she did. It's the idea that Hannibal operates on on suggestion and makes you do awful shit. The scene where Mason was getting drugged and he kept seeing weird shit and laughing, that was pretty good. I really like that, actually. I really like that. Because the way that scene was directed, it was, I mean, it was Matt Mickelson with weird, like, visual effects to crazy soundtrack, just, like, yeah, it was crazy, like, tribal music. And Mason just saying weird shit and laughing. That was a crazy scene. I really liked that. Anyway, I think we're done then with this episode. So, this is setting up the finale. So, the finale is probably going to be a banger. So, we'll see what happens then. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching this episode of Hannibal. 
And if you would like to watch the finale already, as well as the first episode for Season 3, you can do so over at the Patreon. Check out the link in the description for that. Also check out social media, other links, Twitch stream, I stream sometimes. But yeah, see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.